Well, hello, everybody. It has been a very, very long time since I've been active on this channel. So I thought I would put a little video up here to give you a little bit about what I've been up to, what adventures I've been doing, and show you some of what I've been working on if you haven't checked in on me on my website in a little while. Man, I'm excited to show you some things. I've been out of the I shouldn't say I shouldn't say out of the game. That is not true. I've been all the way in the game. I just haven't been as ugh, in your face about it because it's been a little bit of doing things in other areas and a lot of doing things behind the scenes to get some cool stuff ready for a fireworks display like you've never seen. So first up, let me show you this. This is a YouTube channel called Wednesday Eye. This is what I've been hosting on a weekly basis bringing you the biggest stories from the world of AI in a concise and entertaining package. Every episode, it goes up every Wednesday, hence the name Wednesday I, and every episode goes up and has, we're talking about sometimes it's video tools, sometimes it's business, sometimes it's culture, uh, but it's always five to seven stories and it wraps up with videos of the week. Let me show you if uh, you go here on the videos tab and you see, a lot of the ones that we've made, we're talking about uh, Elon Musk, we're talking about uh, AI lip sync things, clone yourself, uh, what's happening with the Fortune 500, all kinds of new stuff here. You can check the link here if the AI topic is something that you are interested in, then click the link down below to go check out this new show. But that's not even really what I've really needed to show you. So go to my website, theshawnwardshow.com, and you can see a lot of what's going on. Right here on the front page, I've linked to a whole bunch of stuff. So this make the dance floor great again. I'll come back to, the, to that in a minute. Right here, if you click on this faith in the flow, this is a new, yeah, there you go. This is a new single that I put out. This is on Spotify, Apple Music, all over the place. I even got it on x.com for you there linked. In fact, x.com, formerly known as Twitter, is where I've been the most active lately and been hanging out there and meeting a whole bunch of cool people, uh, mostly from the AI world. So if you want to hang out there and get to know me and everybody else, that's where the community's popping off. Uh, back over to here. If you didn't see it already, we got this game called Monster Voices that you should order. It's got my art all over it. Every single little thing in it is hand done by me from each individual character to the hand lettering to the box art. It's all me. I also was working on, you know, I got this uh, Pickup Rhymes is a, another rap single I put out that's all over everywhere. Make sure you check out Z Thrillington. This is not me that did this music. This is a guy called Z Thrillington who hacked my channel, hacked my social media to be able to release his music on my platforms. Why he did this, I'll never quite know. I've also got my Beatles book here, which you can click on and check that out. That's getting turned into a movie pretty soon. You can click the Who the Funk is Sean Ward to read about me, get a little bit of what's going on. Made to Measure as a single from last year and all that kind of stuff. But this is what I got to show you right now. Make the Dance Floor Great Again is a new AI movie that I made um, <laughs> starring you know who. Uh, and uh, basically what happened was I generated this image right here. I was just goofing around on Mid Journey one day and I typed in Donald Trump as Tony Manero in the movie Saturday Night Fever. And this is the image that it gave me and I thought that was hilarious. So I started generating more. Next thing you know, it started like insinuating a story. And so I put that into chat GPT and said, tell me this story, but put it into like how Donald Trump would say it if it was him talking, finessed it a bit after what it gave me, uh, used a voice to voice technology to give it me, give it his voice. And uh, you can check it out right now. Go to my website and watch the film. And the reason why I'm showing this to you and the reason why I'm bringing the whole AI thing to your attention is because AI video, AI filmmaking, this is now for me what YouTube was for me in like 2010, 2011, 2012, in that time frame. That is to say it's the new thing that's come along, captured my creativity and my imagination and given me a vision of the future and what the next 10 or more years of my life looks like. So right now, my plan is to focus on developing these AI films that are gonna teach me uh, stuff like getting consistent characters, lip sync, action, multiple characters interacting on screen, all this kind of stuff, right? When I was making that disco movie that I just showed you the preview of a moment ago, I could not help but be overwhelmed by the degree to which I was feeling like, wow, this is my movie making dreams coming true. Let me just pop over to the YouTube channel for a quick second. And show you something. 
you go over to my, my main YouTube channel and you see like this morning monsters right here. Like this is a video that I made just like somebody on Twitter has a thing that they do every week. So every day called morning monsters. And so it just like clicked for me. So I did my own morning monsters and then took the images that I got, put it into one of the video apps, edit it all together and created this like kids show intro. Right. And <laughs> I just love everything I'm doing with this. So like I was saying, the AI thing has captured my imagination. Uh, I'm learning the tools right now and it's making me feel like my movie making dreams are coming true in ways that I couldn't have never predicted or planned back in, in the day. Let me pause right there for you. Get him on the screen looking good. Oh, they're good. All right. <laughs> but uh, yeah, cause it, it, my movie making dreams are coming true in a way that they never had before. When I was doing YouTube before, we do like the superhero parodies. That stuff was about like it was as close as we could come. It was cool to have our stuff being seen by people all over the world. But the technical limitations of what we could do being that we had to do a video every week. We were working with amateurs insofar as acting and the technical stuff. Uh, we had to turn it around fast. So the special effects are going to be what they were, right? So budget, expertise, time, these are all the things working against us. So it was more about doing what we could do free of any kind of corporate controls or somebody looking over our shoulder. The fact that we could be totally free, make what we want, people watch it all over the world. It was great to feel like we've achieved the dream in that way. But now we can take it to the whole next level where... A small group of people or even a solo operator can just type something like the Lord of the Rings into existence and do it by themselves. And we're getting to a point very, very soon where you're going to be able to do that and it's not going to be able to tell the difference between the one that the guy made by himself in his basement and the real thing. So this is really like all my movie making dreams, I feel like, are about to come true. I've got so many stories that I want to tell, and this is what I'm on about now. So hopefully you watch this space. Now that I've kickstarted this channel with this video, at least giving you a little update, let you know what I'm up to. I'm going to be doing more kind of like talking about stuff and issues that I encounter online and uh, interesting stories that I find. I'll be talking about this. This will be go back to be more my vlog channel. And the Sean Ward show is becoming more of my AI filmmaking channel. We're getting away from the Comic-Con videos and whatnot. I'll have a lot more to say on that subject, the, the whys and wherefores around that. I'll have lots to say about that soon. But for now, just enjoy the new content. If you're watching this, thank you so much for sticking with me. It means absolutely everything. Um, for the whole last year or so that I've been kind of in this mode of just wondering where I go from here. Uh, you know, I've kind of reached the top of the YouTube mountain with the Sean Ward show and just like these big dreams that I still have yet to conquer. How do we get at them? All this kind of stuff. Um, it's been a year of like take, taking stock, noticing that the world has changed in ways that I hadn't really realized and this kind of thing. Right. So now that I've taken a year to sort of like see what's new, get a sense of what's going on and kind of see the way forward. Um, now you're going to see a lot more content coming from me once again. I'm ready to get back in the game. I'm loving it. I'm excited. And if you're watching this, especially if you watch this video and you're this far into it, that tells me you're a real one. So type real one in the comments below to let me know you're out there. I appreciate you so much. And uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>